Hi, this is Chris from Mobile Tech Alex. Just a follow-up video to the review I did recently on the Samsung i780. If you one or two comments in the post, uh, asking one or two questions, just so I clear some of them up. The first question was uh, the space bar. There's an icon on the space bar that shows the um, vibrate symbol. The question was, can you hold that down and switch the phone from a, a normal mode into a, like a meeting or a silent mode? Well, the good news is, yes, you can. So I'm holding this button down. Phone vibrates and acknowledges it. And up here we have the icon showing that the phone is now in a vibrate only mode. Pressing it again, a little peep that acknowledges it. It's now back into the normal mode. Similar to the uh, the buttons you find on the tube to switch it into a silent mode, and I think the iPhone's got one too. So, yep, yeah, that's there. You, you can use that. Another question was the satellite navigation and the mail icon buttons at the bottom can they be remapped? Very simply, you go to settings system actually setting personal sorry buttons you can remap those keys in there without a problem I've actually already done this so I press the satellite navigation button on this phone it takes you straight to the RSS reader and the mail button takes you to phone settings so yep yeah, fully customizable no problems at all the last question was about the mouse now I find this really easy to use, I have to say, one-handed, it's an absolute doddle. Similar to the uh, the Pearl and the Blackberry Pearl, works in a similar way to that, but obviously you've got the full freedom of a mouse on the screen. If you go into settings, you can change it to a D-pad. This isn't a, a traditional D-pad, I have to say, it's not, it doesn't have any clicks or buttons or anything like that. Change it to a four-way navigation pad, basically what you now have is uh, it's like a trackpad D-pad. So it's, you're more like stroking it rather than pressing buttons. It works alright, but I, I much prefer the mouse. And I'm sure anybody who's, who's worried about using the mouse, try it out. And I think after a few days' use, you'll find it absolutely very, very easy to use and you'll like it. I'll be surprised if you didn't. So I think that answers all the questions. If anybody else does have any other questions, let me know straight away because uh, this phone actually goes back on Monday. So that's the end of it. Okay, thanks for your time. See you later.